Hello students, welcome to lecture number 18 in this series. Today we are going to see advantages of limit state method. So as we discussed in previous lectures, the advantages and uh, disadvantages of working stress method. While having that discussion, we have also seen some, some of the advantages of limit state method. So just once again, we will go through the advantages of limit state method. So the first advantage of limit state method is the limit state method uses actual test results for the design purpose. This means that as we have discussed that in limit state method we are using the characteristic strength concept and we are determining this characteristic strength by actual test results which we obtain in the laboratory after testing on the materials. So that's why here we are actually utilizing the uh, material values or material strengths etc. Just like for example, uh, if CK is the characteristic strength of concrete, F5 is the characteristic strength of steel and the modulus of elasticity for both concrete as well as steel can be calculated based on the values obtained by performing the experiments on the steel and concrete. So this will be the more realistic method for the design purpose. Then, as I already told you in previous lecture while discussing the working stress method that the sections what we obtain in case of working stress method are heavy or larger in dimensions but as compared to working stress method the sections what we obtain by using limit state method these sections are comparatively smaller. Hence we can say that the sections or we can say that the limit state method gives us economical section and this is happening only because of consideration of the characteristic strength and the reserve strength of the materials. In LSM all sections are under reinforced. Now the concept of under reinforce is need to be considered here. The exact meaning of what is the meaning of under reinforced section, over reinforced section and balance section we will discuss in the upcoming lectures. But just for the concept point of view, I will tell you that the under reinforced section is the section in which the reinforcement is provided less than which is provided in a balance section. It means that the reinforcement is less than the balance section. That's why it is called as the under reinforced section. And the under reinforced sections are also recommended by IS 456 2000, which gives us the better serviceability. That's why the under reinforced sections are preferred. And that is the advantage of limited method. We will discuss in detail about the under reinforced section, balance section and over reinforced section in the upcoming lectures. The limited method helps to design structures based on both safety and serviceability. As we have seen in uh, working stress method, in working stress method they have focused only on the safety. In ELM also they have considered on the safety. In working stress method there is no check for the serviceability. In ULM also there is no check for the serviceability. But in case of limit state method we are considering both these points because these both points are very important from the structural stability point of view. In serviceability we are checking the serviceability for the deflection and the cracking as per the specifications given in IS 456 respective clauses. 
which we have discussed previously also okay so that is the advantage of limit state method over the realm and working stress method as this limit state method helps to design the structure based on the safety as well as serviceability point of view hence this method takes care of the structure not only perform in uh, to achieve safety but also it it ensures the fitness of the structure throughout its intended lifetime it means that that whatever structure you are going to design by using limit state method that structure will provide you the safety in all loading conditions what we have considered appro appropriately by considering the load combinations and at the same time that structure will be fit throughout the lifetime of the structure it means that if you design the structure for 100 years then we can say that the structure will be safe in both point of view that is safety as well as serviceability point of view up to the 100 years time period only conditions are there that proper workmanship should be there and the materials selected should be as per the considerations taken during the design if these conditions are satisfied then we can assure the life or the we can assure the stability of structure through the intended lifetime the structures are designed to withstand ultimate loads or the loads at which failure occurs unlike working stress unlike working stress method where only service loads are considered and this leads to the enhanced safety just as i told you in last uh, slide also that in uh, working stress method we are focusing only on the loads or the behavior of structure at the working load working load means the actual load which is going to take place on the structure but in uh, limit state method we are considering the ultimate loads we are considering the ultimate loads and we are checking that whatever stresses are going to develop due to this ultimate loads and we are designing the structures for that ultimate load hence it will provides us a better safety and better uh, security about the structures hence we are taking it this as an advantage and last advantage is the unlike the working stress method the structures are economical which we have already discussed i think so that the whatever components we are getting as a result of by using limit state method these components are much economical than the components what we get in case of working stress method as already i have given one examples that the structures which are built before 50 years you may you may observe 50 or 60 70 years back you will observe that the columns or the beam sizes of those structures are larger as compared to the structures which are con uh, constructed within this 30 to 40 years or 30 to 25 years era these structures are having comparatively smaller sizes of beams and columns for the same spans or for for the same type of loading condition this is because of the difference between the concept which we are using in working stress method and limit stress method we are utilizing the full strength of the material for the design and uh, that's why the sizes of components get reduced which will enhance the economy of the structure okay the last advantage of limit stress method is but it is also better than ultimate load method as serviceability requirement is also taken care by considering the various factors various safety factors for all the loads and structures do not undergo massive deflection and cracks okay so just as i told you that in the working stress method also there is no separate specifications for the uh, 
serviceability checks uh, because it is assumed that the serviceability conditions will be automatically achieved just by providing the larger sizes to the components and in ultimate uh, load method they have, done, they have considered the ultimate loads and they have designed the structures by considering the ultimate loads so that's why the section sizes are reduced but there is no specific issues for controlling the serviceability condition that is controlling over the depth uh, deflections or the crack widths etc no such conditions have been taken care in the ultimate load method and which is taken care by the limited method so that's why we are getting more secure more safe structures by using limit state method so these are the advantages of limit state method and because of these all advantages the limit state method is widely adopted all over the world and it again uh, it this method is again comparatively simple uh, as working stress method so it is widely adopted due to this all advantages only okay so we'll stop here for this day uh, in next lecture we'll start with the new concept that is limit state of collapse in that we are going to discuss uh, the limit state of collapse in uh, lecture in shear and in compression thank you If you like this video then you may click on the like button and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also share this video or share this content which you like with your friends so that they will also get benefited of it thank you